Gone to the left of screen. Dogs head there this term. Does that mean anything? That's what they're playing for. 24 points. Bontempelli trying to do it himself. Flicked it to half forward. Angus Brayshaw steps through. Gives it to Petrarca. High one. Fist away from Fritsch. Jackson's been really good. Neil Bullen, look out. They come for him. He dribbles it into the path of Sparrow in the forward pocket, half forward. High one for Benny Brown. Got it. Got it. It was a well-placed kick for the big forward. Did he have control of that footy? This is now massive. Kicks this. It's 30 points and it's a long, long way back. For his third of the game and through it goes. That's now eight in a row. For the Melbourne Footy Club and three from your big forwards, a good night. Neil Bullen's ability to draw the defenders there and then just get it forward to Sparrow. Sparrow identified the space for Brown straight away. Penetrating kick from tied up on the boundary line. It's a difficult kick to hit the space Brown asked for. Well, out of centre bounce again. This time it was Gorn that went there. But Jackson got involved again off half forward, clean gather. Impressive in that third quarter. He went to 14, sent, uh, 14 stoppages. Gorn just the 12. And Jackson had three hit outs to advantage, so the D's trusted him. It's unbelievable. They've kicked eight in a row in a grand final. They only lead by 30. It's still gettable. But what a comeback after the Dogs owned the first part of that third quarter. And then the spark. Now Melbourne, Langdon. Feeding the ball to Salem, Petrarca. A little handball to Spargo. Spargo's got space to Fritsch. And the Melbourne fans in that pocket have gone unbelievably. It was such a good move from Goodwin, wasn't it, Hodgie, to, to throw Jackson in there. All the planning during the week for the Dogs would have gone into Gorn. How to nullify him. And they were doing a pretty good job of physically getting into him. Now they've thrown a completely different ruck. Jackson, who can get up and over and get it forward. And in that time, that they had 10 clearances to the Doggies three, even though Martin was on top of Max. So oh. it gave Chet Maxey a chance to freshen up, and they've started perfectly. Nice. Ron Barassi would lo be loving this. The 31 jumper. Goal number five in a grand final, if you don't mind. Most unbelievable. Nine in a row. Will Salem, who started the game perfect in the first quarter, kicked it to Petraka, who's just started the last quarter the same way. He finished the third on fire. But then this little hit up. Patrice, he was a man who sparked it early in the third quarter to get their first goal with the Viney clearance with Harms kicking it to him. He took the big hanger, crumbed his own mark, and then he's kicked his fifth there. He's up and about. What about the last two third quarters for this club? They blew the cats away here, and now they're doing the same to the dogs. Petrarca from long, long range misses. Eight zip in the third term two weeks ago, 7-2 in the third term against the Dogs here today. As you said, Hodgie, they're the best third term team in the comp. And it was led by that man, Telstra Tracker there. He's done 10.1 Ks. He's got it all over the ground. A lot 30. of it forward of centre too. 32 disposals, six clearances, two goals, one Petrarca. Here's Salem trying to squeeze it down the line here. Jackson had it spoiled. Brown being terrific. Daniel McRae needs to be perfect, and he is. So the dogs just have a very, very slight glimmer here.
but they are have to, they have to make impact very very quickly. Rook Smith at half back. Liberatore looks tired. Tired handball. Bontem Pally. Gee, they've all just about come to a roar. And Petty with the intercept and high contact with the free as well. Goes on the 45 to Viney. Stephen May. And Lever. Nine straight in a grand final. Lever a long one. Brown competed hard in the air. Handball through. Petrarca's got him. And that may well be deliberate. No opportunity. It's amazing the difference at this stage during the third quarter. Melbourne looked out of it. The dogs were up and about. It's a total change. That handball on this side from uh, from Libba missed Bont, which caused the turnover. The noise at this place is just quite extraordinary. Dogs go forward. In comes Langdon on Smith. Won a really good ball. Good tackle, McRae on Harms, but he got out of it. Langdon, a little inching ball, Liberatore. Those little handballs just not quite having the same impact. Bailey Smith arches away. Long ball, May and Norton, and they crash it through. I reckon Clayton Oliver's taken responsibility from Bontempelli after half time as well. A lot more stoppages where he's spending more time on him. The Bailey Smith fan club. Just sitting and chatting amongst each other at the moment. Because they're wondering where the spark's going to come from. Is it their man? Here's Martin. Stand. Lots of time left. 16 minutes left in the game. Interception here by Harms. Salem squeezing the little ball and finds Petrarca. 33rd touch of the game. 34th touch of the game. Petrarca. Takes them on, didn't really dispose of it, maybe the handball. Salem kept going, the no-looker. Here goes Langdon, got within 16. Short kick, party time for the Ds. Alex Neil Bullen. Played very well first half. This for a massive 42-point lead. And it will allow them to enjoy perhaps the final 10 minutes of the game but it needs to go through for that to happen Bullen from 47 goal umpire has not even moved they're drowning in goals We spoke about Petraka on the last goal. He's forced through and then Salem followed up. Nice and clean, gives the hands off. And then the composure to lower the vision, going inside Ford 50. And he had a number of players to choose from. Neil Pullen goes back. And as it goes through, celebrates. And right now, they understand that they're going to be premiership players. Who saw this coming at the 10-minute mark of the third term? They've kicked 10 unanswered goals. And now have a stranglehold on this premiership. It's quite unbelievable. Jeray goes crashing in. Oh, go through, go through. And earns himself a free right, kick. Tackle. Yep, straight through. Stand. At that point, the dogs had kicked eight of the last nine and looked like winners. Stand. Hunter. Wants to take Brayshaw on, and then he left the footy behind. Have a look at this from Oliver. The clean 
take two bodies on him, somehow finds a way to get the ball to boot. Brutish. Wasn't it? Great effort. At the back door to Daniel. McRae. Looks for something in field. Bailey Smith, a nice gather. Tucks and goes and then fakes to Law. Martin needs to get rid of it, did. Johannesson can go and kick a goal here. He needs to. He'll need to now. They've intercepted it. Petty's got a hand on it. Norton realises the potential, but couldn't get there. And Langdon speeds away with the ball. It's a blinding demon outfit in this second half. They have been superb, and for a rare occasion, they retreat. And just wait a moment as Spargo pick it high. Couldn't mark the ball. It'll almost go over the line. No pick it. Able to regain it. And kicks it out of bounds in the full. And it's times like these with number 31 there. No one mentioned Barassi a lot, but he goes short and finds Langdon. Yeah, it stayed in. It stayed in. And what about the gut running at Langdon? And I was just going to say, JB, I know we've mentioned Barass a lot, but you think of Nathan Jones at a time like this and Sean White and Robbie Flower and the Steins family, the Broadbridge family, and there's a whole host of others that you can't help feel for at the moment watching this. Just inside the field of play, so Ed Langdon to make it 11 straight for the Demons. And to give them a 48-point lead. You can't script any of this. Just astounding. And as you see there, Ed Langdon in the back 50. Contest gets it out, runs and dashes, gives the ball off. And then all of a sudden, you look up the other end of the field and have a guess who's taken the mark inside Fort 50. You can understand why he laid down after he took the mark, composed himself, and went on to kick that goal. You talk about Wingman, he's as hard a running Wingman as you see in the game today. He just got rewarded for his hard work. Generation of red and blue hearts won't be just, they'll be just pulsating at the moment because they sit in comfortably 48 points ahead. Charging ball, knocked away from Lever. McRae was nailed in the Petrarca tackle. And, gee, you would think the Norm Smith middle, it was in the hands of Bob and Pelly at halftime, and you're just wondering whether it's heading to that man there now. Langdon. Giovanni. Todd would be loving this, sitting up there in a Tuca, I think. Watching his son, the only father-son combo to play 150 for the Demons. Off hands, Oliver. Pick it. And over the line she goes. Keep. So five goals in a grand final. Hasn't happened in the 2000s, except for this man here. And when you look at all them, apart from Akamonis, they're all big key forwards. And he's a medium size, but what he's been able to do today has been a great effort. The truck has been supreme. Neil Bullen. Here's Fritsch. He gets a look at a six. He's done it all year. 58 goals he's kicked. It's been huge from Fritsch all season for a medium sized hybrid forward. Derek. Darren Jarman, the last player to kick six in a grand final. That was against St Kilda in 1997. And that's not going through. So 49 points. Demon fans, get a smile on your dial. It is time for you to party. Gather here at halfback. Rivers. Handball over the top. The fend off from Bonkton Valley. Daniel to Trelaw right on the Toyota logo. 
Spins it out to Rourke Smith. Got space and time as Rourke Smith. And didn't kick it to the advantage of Hannon, who's had a quiet game. And Lever is marked in the back half. I can barely believe what they're seeing, Demons fans. It's been such a long wait for so much of that time. They've been parked at the bottom of the ladder. And this is just unbelievable. You reckon you, uh, Melbourne are letting the leaders just soak it in on the bench at the moment? They've got Petraka, Oliver and Gorn and Hibbert. So what do they do with James Jordan? The medical sub days? Do they find a way to get him on? It's probably not in the spirit of what the rule's there for, but Come <laughs> he's on. tempted. You're 50 points up in a grand he's final. Chance. He wins a, a premiership medal anyway, of right. course, but Tim, if they can find a way to, to get him out there and taste a bit of the action. May he's got a sore back, doesn't he? Give the kid a run. <laughs> Daniel taking in a good tackle. Trelaw, so brilliant in that second term. And Waitman takes the mark out in front of Rivers. Who's going to be the selfless leader that stays down and gets subbed off for him, though? Yeah, you want to be there on the final side, <laughs> I imagine, Hodgie. Of course you do. The celebration when that siren goes. <laughs> But in saying that, how Melbourne, have, their attitude this year is about looking after one another. It's been a very quiet day. A lot of that celebration does happen on the bench, doesn't it? And it sort of sums it up. Missed the lot. And JB, as the great Dennis Committee once said, get a hearse for the curse, I reckon. 49 points, nine minutes left. Enjoy this, Melbourne supporters. 2,975 weeks you've waited. And you're going to get it tonight. We feel for you not being here. As Bowie goes wide and long, but I'm sure you're still going to enjoy it. BT, is it too early for the tears? Are the Melbourne supporters sitting at home with the tears starting to flow? There's no doubt there's going to be a few in the crowd. So the crowd, 61,118 in this magnificent stadium. We'll look at that, and they are applauding themselves like no other. So they should. Brilliant extraction from Petrarca. Oliver, a long one. Brown out the back of Keith. Cosy Pickett went to ground. McDonald's got to come hard at the footy. Oh, well done, Rock Smith. They've done so much defending back half of this game. They break this one up as well. Keith flicks the handball through. And the dogs can bring it away, but so much ahead of the ball is stagnant. There you go. Petrarca strips it. And look at the vision of Christian Petrarca. He has been supreme. Number five. This to make it 12 in a row. Sometimes when midfielders are as good as those two, you can excuse them for not defending hard. You give them licence to run forward. But both Petrarca and Oliver, their defensive ability. Tommy McDonald. It's a celebration now. some sort of final series, Melbourne. They pumped Brisbane, they pumped Geelong, and now they're pumping the dogs. At the, tur the turnover here, Trelaw, as he comes back in, but... As we said before, Daisy, you can understand if those mid Melbourne midfielders don't want to defend, but look at them, both of them are squeeze in. Petraka's vision just to cut across his body to Tom McDonald, and he's done the right thing. He's gone back. And as you see here, a bit of celebration. Petraka and Oliver, you can see it's up and about. They went through at times. This is what makes it so much better for them. They went through during the third quarter. They had doubt. Things weren't going their way. They showed spirit. They showed fight. And they got the reward for it. 12 straight goals for a team that's won 12 premierships. Here in the final stages, Oliver Bontempelli had a crack at it. 
Smith now back to the box. Little dribble will be intercepted here by Viney. Right on the logo. Salem now. Beautiful kick and finds Petrarca. He's in a giving mood. He found Brayshaw. He straightens Brayshaw and went for the one. He wanted to join the party. Why not? There was no one in the goal square. Seven minutes of celebration here. After 57 years. The Melbourne faithful can barely believe it. Handball over the top looking for Dale. Hannon. Against his old club, of course, Dale ran on. Waitman stripped the tackle. Wants to give it to Trelaw. He does, and Trelaw kicks a goal. Been a good player tonight. So, again, it's not going to be for Adam Trelaw, but that's his third. I just wonder how difficult it is for Melbourne players at the moment to, to maintain their composure and not get excited and show that right now. BT, it? let them get excited. Yeah. Yeah. Let why, them, why aren't they? I think they're very mellow people, but I reckon the next five minutes you're going to see some excited players. Let them celebrate. The crowd's up and about. They've played a, a magnificent brand of football, especially the last quarter and a half. 128 premiership players in the history. That'll increase after this to 151. 151 premiership players for Melbourne. Bowie goes long and ahead of Jackson. Cordy from the side with the big spoil. Norton was there. Little one here from Neil Bullen. Got it out wide. Found some space for Jackson. He skidded over. Salem, he wants a piece of the action. He's got it as well. He has got it. possessions in the grand final. What about that? Amazing. Speaking of Melbourne greats who are celebrating BT, I've got one straight to my right. Days, this is your club. <laughs> Max Gorn. I'm, I, I'm seeing a tear almost, Days. And fair enough too. Flicking handball. Here comes Sparrow and he dumps it into the path of Jackson. Neil Danaher's club, Gary Lyons' club. I'm just so proud of these boys. I mean, to stand in front of 19-point deficit, a red-hot Marcus Bontempelli, and 57 years of history and expectation, and turn it around like they have. They deserve every bit of this. What a young talent Luke Jackson is. He is just going to get better and better and better. This is only his 30th game. And everything's going through. Everything's going through. Hard to imagine a better 50 minutes if you're a fan of the Melbourne Footy Club. Left. Hey, one interesting thing here for me is you look at this crowd here now. I know we're seeing the highlight, and perhaps we'll watch that first and see the goal. Everyone's joining in the party. But it's great to see that not one person have, has left this stadium, JB. They are wanting to see that 57-year drought and what comes after it 
as a result of this performance from the Demons today. They are waiting. They are wanting to be part of it here at this ground today. And not one person has left the stadium. Amazing. Not sure whether that's almost a tear for Max as he sits in the middle and reflects. Gorn the knockdown. Petrarca surely has his name written all over the Norm Smith. Here he is again! Max on the run! Couldn't do it this week. Petrarca has to be the hottest of hot, hot, hot favourites. PT, we spoke early in the game how Melbourne are the most inaccurate team in the league. Since they had their run in the third quarter, they've kicked 14 goals three. When they've needed to kick straight, that's what they've done, and they cannot miss at the moment. Well, Hodgie, at that point, since the 12-minute mark of the third term, it's 14 goals four to 1-1. One, one. Just the most extraordinary turnaround in a game of football. Tell you who else's club this is, Nathan Jones, who would be sitting at home, so proud of his teammates, arms full with his new twins. It's a well-told story, but absolute club champion who showed loyalty when he did, he shouldn't have had to. Yeah, they've got a really strong pass players group. Melbourne run by Rod Grinter. And they've had to cop it for a long time. And wherever they are, they'll be enjoying this. It's a half forward. Good late fist Bowie. Petty. What about the season he's put together since Tomlinson went down. He has not missed a beat. Harrison Petty. Pretty incredible to think you had that guy just waiting in the wings. Tomlinson had looked so settled. And Harry Petty hasn't put a foot wrong since coming into the side. You see there, Taylor Jure gets a knock in the back and then head hits Hibbert's shoulder. Gets up, he's a little bit off. Bit of blood, I think. They're just holding up play down here, guys, as Taylor Jure makes his way off the ground. But... What a player he has been, and, and another man on screen now, Adam Tomlinson, ACL injury. He's missed a lot of footy, and unfortunately, he's not out there today, but another superstar down here on the boundary. The assistants come for Simon Goodwin, and what a story he is, by the way. Questions as to whether he should be coaching this club, whether he'd had enough chances, whether they're actually going to advance under him. How emphatically has he answered them? Easton Wood, long ball. Lever with a big thump. Oliver's been superb. Brown's got a battle hard under this ball. Easton Wood a little fumble. McDonald tried to control it and then used body strength on Shaggy. Did that pretty well. Arms runs out of tarmac. These are great scenes. Melbourne such a together club and caring club and a lot of people sharing the responsibility. And Simon Goodwin won two as a player. Crowd are seeing it on the big screens now. Him showing his emotion. It's great to see. BT, I asked before if there's any tears flowing. It just showed then the coach is the first one to drop them. It's great to see. Yeah, the Swans took 72 years. The Cats, 44. The Dogs, 62. The Tigers, 37. And just the Saints now, 55 years. Brown to Brayshaw. Sparrow working hard, and Fritz is going to get another look. He has five goals, too. Bailey Fritz. Angus Brayshaw's work rate and courage and just his skill execution on the biggest stage today. He's had to play a role all year. High draft pick, probably an inside midfielder. He's played that role to a T today. That wing, wing role, yep. 25 touches for Brayshaw. And look at this. All those in the squad enjoying the moment. They've been on the road for a long while. And for his sixth goal, Barry Fritz puts it through the middle. And with the 61,118 still here. Loving this celebration, so are we. Hope you are at home. There will be tears are flowing. I know Narelle and Al Lever at home, their son.
playing here today, of course, they'd be tearful, like all the mums and dads and families of these players at home that can't get to celebrate with their kids. What about this final series they've put together? They have had three emphatic victories. They've put Brisbane to the sword, waited a couple of weeks, pumped the Cats, and now this is 10, 11 goals. And you look, you look at their build-up and you, you try to break it down on how they would fail today. The one game in 28 days, beating Geelong convincingly, beating the, uh, the Lions convincingly, but they've, they've withstood the pressure. They've been absolutely outstanding. The area of contention all year was up forward and Ben Brown today competed hard, kicked three, discarded by the Wooden Spooners last year and here he is in a flag. Max Gorn running forward, charging forward. Bounce didn't work for Petrarca. He'll go back and contest this. Slapped into the path. Good tackle there from Brayshaw. Little release is good for Williams. Thumping long ball from him, but they're well set up back here. End on end ball means that Lever's got to compete hard. And English came in. Ball goes out. So the dogs, a brave, brave campaign. And a wonderful coach. And this will hurt, but again, they had to win all around Australia to get here, and they did. Langdon. Neil Bullen. Viney. Langdon. Ben Brown and Alex Keith, and the Brown gets a free. Look at the fans hanging over the fence. Brown just wanting to take some time off the clock. As you'd expect, some not so happy. Oliver with a big smile. The chance going around the ground. And Oliver caught with the footy. Stefan, a metre from him. Thanks, Max. Here it is. Holding. Back here. Come on. So, free kick. Listen to that noise. Disappointing result. They wanted him. I think they were calling for the barrel then for Big Max. Didn't quite get it. But they desperately wanted it. Melbourne fans, celebrate, relax. The curse, the drought, it's over. You are the winners. Extraordinary. And maybe a goal after the siren to top it off. And if he kicks this, it'll be their biggest win ever in any of their grand finals. Tom McDonald times the ticking. Every heart is beating true and blue for the red and blue. After 57 long years, the Demons are premiers in 2021. Extraordinary stuff. And McDonald kicks the goal. Sing the song.